What's up, collective? How y'all feeling? We are going to, <clears throat> excuse me, do an all signs reading. And this will be from Aries to Pisces. Listen out for your sun, moon, Venus, rising, and north node placements. And this is who and what's coming towards you between now and the end of December. Okay, we are about to go into the new year, y'all. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that exciting? Are y'all ready for the new year? Like, I hope you guys are excited and ready for the new year, okay? Um, but yeah, let's just see what's happening between now and in the 31st of December, right? All right. Damn, y'all, 2024 is coming. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, y'all, let me, let me chill out. All right, Aries to Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North, No Placements, okay? Um, take what you wish and leave the rest, okay? Don't take something if you ain't trying to manifest it, right? Or if you feel like it's not for you, if you feel like it don't make no sense or it's far-fetched, then it's not for you, baby, okay? Leave it for somebody else. But I would advise you guys to not just pay attention to your sun sign, okay? Watch your moon. Watch your Venus. Watch your rising placement. Watch your north node. If you know that you've elevated to a point where you're working out of your north node, then watch your north node placement as well. All right. Aries, let's see what's going on. What can you expect from now to the end of December? Who and what's coming towards Aries last half of December from now to the end of December, Holy Spirit? Who and what's coming towards Aries from now to the end of December? Please and thank you. What can Aries expect from now to the end of December? Two more shuffles, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. This is for Aries. What can Aries expect from now to the end of the month, the end of December? Oh, Aries, first card out. There you are, baby. You're showing up as the fool in the upright. So I like that, okay? But there's a Queen of Cups in the reverse that's in your energy, all right? You may be sailing to calmer waters. You may be getting away from this person, all right? Somebody that's the Queen of Cups in the reverse that's in your energy, Aries, you could be separating yourself from this person. They could be a water sign, don't have to be. Um, but whoever this person is, this is somebody that could be very cold hearted. Okay? Very cold hearted, you know, very callous, things like that. It's like you're taking charge. Okay, you're taking action and you're sailing to calmer waters with the six of swords. You're releasing codependency, Aries. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Nine of cups in the reverse. Yeah, releasing codependency. Some of you could be releasing third-party situations, releasing gossip, just releasing all of the bullshit, okay? Gossip, um, the things that's creating stagnancy in your life, you're releasing. Some of you could also be um, like getting away from a toxic living situation, just karmic individuals, toxic individuals, people that are um, like really um, codependent on you and your energy. Ten of cups reverse, nine of cups reverse, three of cups reverse. Very gossipy, catty people. Some of you could even have like really low vibrational people around you that just gossip and talk too fucking much. You're tired of it. Aries, I feel like you're just tired. You're tired of the gossip. You're tired of the drama. You're tired of feeling unfulfilled. You're tired of being unhappy. Some of you may live with people that you don't necessarily want to live with. It's like, it's given, I'm done, I'm out, I'm going. Yeah, everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords, you're done, you're out, you're going. And you got the Ace of Cups, and you got the fucking Ace of Pentacles. Yo, Aries, you got three Aces here on the table, back to back. That's major. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. What's coming towards you is offers, opportunities, offers that's going to be very exciting. Wish fulfillment is on the way. You seeing the clarity, you seeing the truth that you need in regards to certain people, certain situations. You're breaking free from karmic individuals. You're getting rid of gossip. You're getting rid of the haters, the naysayers. You're not really letting them affect you or your life decisions. You're done. Okay, somebody here wants to come back towards you, Aries. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody here want to spin the block, Aries. Okay, we are in the Mercury retrograde, you guys. We are in the Mercury retrograde. Somebody that's heavily burdened and weighed down, okay, that you're not crying over anymore wants to come towards you. We have the Empress here, 
And right behind you, we got the emperor. So we got two divine counterparts here, but a cycle has closed out. Okay, for many of you, this was supposed to be your divine counterpart. Look at this. Look how you guys came out back to back, the emperor and the empress. This person may want to return, come back towards you, but the cycle has closed out. This person was a player. King of Wands in a reverse here. They could still be a player here, and they could be trying to hide that. This person is very triggering. They, they irritate you, okay? Some of you could have Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius placements in your chart as well. But with the Queen of Swords in reverse, this person irritates you. You feel like this person is very controlling, very possessive, very dominating, and this is someone that you need to heal from. You've healed. You are healing. You're continuing to heal. You're healing from a broken heart. You're healing from betrayal. And this person is very jealous of the fact that you're able to heal yourself and move forward. And they feel like they can't really heal. This person is having a difficult time healing. But the only reason why they feel like they have enough, a really difficult time healing is because this person is set in their ways. King of Wands in the reverse to the moon card. This is someone that's set in their ways. This is someone that has a lot of skeletons in their closet. And this is someone that's not willing to do the shadow work. This is why they feel like nothing's changing for them or nothing's changing in their life. Or they feel like things is really hard for them right now. Yeah, this person is very fucking mad with you. King of Swords in the reverse. This person could be speaking ill on you, gossiping about you to other people. And you just simply don't care. This person could have even uh, partnered up with a high priestess in the reverse, possibly a dark practitioner. This person is very codependent on this high priestess in the reverse. They're going to experience a crazy tower moment and karma for going up against you. I can't make it up. A lot of magic here. A lot of manipulation being done here. The lovers in the reverse. Strong Gemini, Virgo, Pisces energy here and Aquarius could be significant. But it's a lot of endings going on for people that were wishing ill on you or fucking over you or trying to fuck over you. And you're just moving forward, period. Yeah, I can't make it up. You're really moving forward, the chariot. And someone's pissed off about the fact that you're moving forward. They feel like you're abandoning them. You're leaving them out in the cold. Aries, why are you not taking me with you? Why can't I come with you? Okay? People that are uninspiring, unmotivating, drama-filled. People that are trying to keep you stuck in old toxic ways, patterns, behaviors, and ways of thinking, ways of being. You're releasing. And now somebody's trying to flip the script and make it seem like you're abandoning them. You're leaving them out in the cold. Like, get out of here with that shit. Okay, please throw a pity party elsewhere. Aries has no time for the pity parties. Five of Pentacles and a Temperance Reverse. Somebody is pissed off because you're taking charge. You're taking action. You're moving forward. Aries, I also want you to know that everything is in alignment for you. The Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to pan out for you just fine, baby. Keep your head in the game. Stand tall. Stand strong. Stay ten toes down. Somebody here is depressed because of your strength. You're going to be happy. There's nothing but happiness that awaits you. You making the right decision by moving forward here. You making the right decision by filing for divorce as well. Some of you could be breaking up or divorcing someone. This was the best decision that you could have ever made. You're setting yourself free. You feel liberated. You feel free. Somebody else is in their head right now. Somebody here could also be feeling conflicted about your abundance. Some of you are very wealthy or you're about to be wealthy in this lifetime. But you have a lot of abundance that's going to flow to you after you separate yourself. People are mad, Aries. You're going into the new year with a bang. Aries, I'm hearing you're welcoming the new year with a bang. Somebody here wants you to take care of them. It's not your responsibility. I'm hearing it's not your responsibility. And don't feel bad. Taurus. Yeah, you're moving to calmer waters. You're sailing. Some of you could be relocating, traveling. And it's protected. You're going to be protected on your journey. Your path is clear. The road is clear. The road is open. This is your karmic justice, Aries. We have the justice card right here. Some of you definitely have strong area chart, possibly Libra. But the justice is here. Karmic justice, blessings on blessings on blessings, victory and success, emotional independence, no codependency here whatsoever, nine of cups, nine of pentacles reversed. A lot of y'all left behind, very toxic, gossipy people. And like I said, some of you could have even separated from someone. Everything I'm saying is the truth. The ace of swords keep coming out. Some of you could have separated from a situation where somebody wanted you to be invested or involved in a situation that involved too many damn people. Somebody here wanted you to invest in something that was toxic, that was karmic, that involved way too many people. For a lot of you, you want a monogamous relationship, and somebody here could have wanted you to settle for something else, you know, with multiple people. You made the decision to turn away, to turn your back on it. Best decision you could have made. This person now wants to come back. 
I'm hearing it's a hell no towel moment. It's a hell no. Let's move on to my Taurus. Taurus, what's going on with you, baby? I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're doing well, Taurus. Let's get a message for you, sugar dumpling. Sun, moon, Venus, rising north. No, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Spirit, what can Taurus expect from now to the end of December? Who and what's coming towards Taurus from now to the end of, C end of December, please? And thank you. Who and what's coming towards Taurus from now to the end of December? Taurus. Sun, moon, Venus, rising north. No, Taurus placements. Holy Spirit, give me two more shuffles for Taurus. Who and what's coming towards Taurus? from now to the end of December, please, and thank you. Okay, we have the Princess of Cups in the reverse, Five of Cups. Hmm. High Priestess in the reverse. Hmm. Yeah. Taurus, there you are showing up as the Hierophant. Somebody here fucked around and found out, okay? Taurus, I'm hearing to fuck around and find out was a person is definitely you. <laughs> Somebody here fucked around and found out, child. Taurus, here you are showing up as the Hierophant, standing in your power, standing in your truth. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Pisces or a Virgo. Somebody was showing Pisces or Virgo in their chart. But Taurus, I'm hearing somebody tried you. Somebody tried you. Somebody here was very immature, very impulsive, thought they were slick. They tried you. They fucked around and found out. Now somebody crying, five cups. Now somebody in heavy regret, up in their head, sad, disappointed. Going through a tower moment for doing an injustice here. Somebody here played with you and they fucked around and found out quick that this was never that. You are not the one nor the two. Oh my God, Taurus, you are so strong. Some of you uh, could have Leo placements, highly aspected. You don't necessarily have to, but some of you definitely have strong Leo placements. Um, but you're very strong, you're very bold, you're very courageous, you're very wise. There's a Queen of Swords in the reverse that's pissed off. I'm getting here that you have multiple people here mad because you're strong. Somebody here wanted you to be in poverty. Somebody here wanted you to be in lack. It's not happening. It's not going down. Taurus, you're going to keep building yourself up. You're going to keep building yourself up. Anything you lose, it wasn't for, it wasn't for you to keep. It wasn't for you to have. God is always going to restore you. You're always going to have something that's replaced with whatever you lost times 10. Whatever you lose is going to be be replaced. It's going to be replenished. It's going to be restored. And it's going to be restored tenfold. You lose $10, you're going to win $100. You, you lose $100, you're going to win $1,000. Like, this is how your life is going. Somebody here is very codependent and they're mad. Yeah, I can't make it up. You're so abundant. Y'all know I ain't going to tell y'all shit just to tell y'all. Taurus, some of you could be getting a windfall of money. Congratulations. You could be having some sort of victory with a legal situation as well with this justice energy here too. And, you know, it's like you could be getting a windfall of money. You could be getting a check. You could be getting a payout. Some of you could be getting a raise at work. Congratulations. Some of you could be going into a new career, new job opportunity, new business opportunity, business offer. Everything I'm saying is the truth, Ace of Swords. The money is here. The money is coming in. You deserve this, Taurus. You've earned this. You deserve this. Okay, celebrate. You're going to be dancing, girl. Taurus, you're going to be dancing. Man or woman, you're going to be dancing. It's your time to shine. Will of Fortune. There's a player that's in your energy. There's somebody that's hating on you. They mad. Like I said, somebody here could be a Virgo. Somebody here could be a Gemini. Somebody here could be an Aries Leo Sag. Somebody here is pissed. Somebody here is so pissed. Could be an Aquarius or a Cancer as well. Somebody here is mad because they stuck. Somebody was wishing so much ill on you and wanted you to be stuck, but that shit reversed in such a way where the only person that stuck is them. Look at this. The magician in the reverse and the chair reverse. Somebody here wanted to keep you stuck, wanted to stagnate your life, wanted to cause imbalances for you, wanted to cause blockages for you. And for many of you, whoever this person is, it's because they're mad because you're not fucking with them. They're mad because you're not talking to them. This person is a fire sign, a Gemini, Virgo, a Cancer, okay, a Scorpio, a Libra. They could be an air sign, a fire sign, a Cancer, or a Virgo. Or Scorpio. Whoever this person is, they're in lack, they're in poverty. Yeah, strong Gemini. If you was fucking with a Gemini, this person is going down. I'm hearing they're going down. 
And this is somebody that's mad. They can't get over the past. Taurus, this person could be throwing your name, dragging your name through the mud. Oh, Taurus did this to me. Taurus did that to me. I don't really feel like you did shit to this person. And whatever you did, it's like the memory that they have is way worse than what actually happened. And I also feel like your intention behind it wasn't to hurt someone. So somebody's just going around bitter and just making something worse than what it was. But you're not holding on to that shit. You've already released it. You've already walked away. You're not dealing with this person. You could care less. You're happy. This is this person is the one that's bitter and they can't get over shit. This air sign, this fire sign. Okay, this could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, an Aries, Leo, Sag, a Virgo, a Cancer, Scorpio, whoever this is, they can't get over shit. They can't. They're having a difficult time getting over shit. And they wanted you to suffer for something that, you know, it's like God said, God said you have no suffering behind whatever this person wants you to suffer for. There is no suffering here. You're going to move forward. You're going to you're going to progress you're going to be very, very, very successful here. Very successful. And like I said, for some of you, there was spell work involved. This person is now binded to whatever they've been conjuring up. You're not binded to shit. You're free. They're the ones that's binded. And that's just that on that. It's as simple as that. That's how it's going. Pretty much. So congratulations, Taurus, on all your success and wealth. Because it looks like you definitely... Got some money coming in. Green, green. Ching, ching. Cha ching, cha ching. <laughs> I'm hearing, um, what is it? Cha ching, cha ching. Is that what she say? <laughs> I haven't heard that song in years, but I'm hearing Gwen Stefani Luxurious. Cha ching. I think that's what she's saying. Cha ching. <laughs> that's Gwen Stefani Luxurious, okay? You laying down on Egyptian cotton and shit. Alright. No one ply toilet tissue for you, okay? <laughs> Taurus, you are luxurious, honey. You are deserving of everything luxurious, everything great. You are wealth. You are royalty. You are regal. Yes, Taurus. Shout out to all the Taurus out there that are high vibrational. I know one of my girlfriends is going to see this. She's going to be like, yes, bitch. She's a Taurus and she's amazing. I love her. Um, all right, let's move on to my uh, Geminis. Gemini, sun, moon, Venus, rising, north no, Gemini, what's going on with you, babes? Let's see. From now to the end of the month, now to the end of December, who and what's coming towards my Geminis, my fellow air signs, my babies? What's going on, Gem, Gem, Gem? What's up, baby? Gemini, sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. Who and what's coming towards Gemini from now to the end of December? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What can Gemini expect from now to the end of the month? Last half of December. Who and what's coming towards my Gemini's? Gemini, please stand your ground with somebody that's very disrespectful, especially when it comes to their mouth. Okay, somebody here could really be trying you, and this person may be mouthing off at you, and they could be saying really hurtful shit, okay, trying to hit below the belt. I feel like somebody's mouth is reckless, their mouth is crazy. You might have to check this motherfucker, you understand me? I'm feeling that shit. And I saw the King of Swords in the reverse as well. Yeah, I saw the King of Swords in the reverse as well. Some of y'all, you gonna have to, you might have to check somebody about their words. Their mouth is crazy. I feel like somebody here getting real like snappy with you. Somebody real comfortable with talking to you anyway. You ain't feeling that. Yeah, they go that. I told y'all, I saw the King of Swords in reverse. He came back out. I'm telling you, like this person could be burdened right now for whatever reason. Maybe they're going through some shit. But they could be projecting projecting onto you. They could be taking it out on you. But I feel like somebody here mouth is crazy. Their mouth is reckless. There's a lot of gossip as well that you need to stay away from. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Sagittarius. <coughs> Hell fucking no. <coughs> a lot of gossip. Slander. Um, just, ugh. Somebody here just gossiping and just real bitter. Gemini, I hope this ain't you. 
but it could be somebody that's in y'all energy. Y'all need to be careful about what y'all telling people too. Like, if you need to vent, make sure that you're not just venting to anybody that'll listen. Because motherfuckers is chatting. There's a lot of talking, a lot of chatting, a lot of gossiping. Somebody here is pissed, temperance in the reverse, the moon. Somebody here could be um, mad at you and just telling lies about you. It's like somebody here is angry with you, so they're going around and spreading lies, spreading rumors about you. Like, let's just say, for instance, this could be anybody, family, uh, business partner, co-worker, whatever, uh, ex-partner, relation, somebody you had a relationship with, somebody that you had an encounter with, I don't know. <clears throat> but whoever this is, this person is bitter. They're big mad. They're pissed off. <clears throat> this person is going around talking about you to any and everybody that will listen. This person is just spreading rumors, spreading gossip. Okay? Like, just dumb shit. Like, this person is saying any and everything to any and everybody that will listen. They're mad because you walked away. Gemini, I'm also getting that some of you have somebody that's mad because you was able to manifest a life for yourself. You able to manifest a beautiful life for yourself. You're creating and manifesting a beautiful life for yourself. And whoever this is, they could be really jealous. They're really mad about this. You know, it's like you could be moving forward and really making a name for yourself, really making a life for yourself. Congratulations, Gemini. I'm happy for you. And it's like somebody else is not happy for you. They're comparing themselves to you. It's like you're moving forward in life and somebody else is depressed about you moving forward. Somebody else is depressed because you they feel like you don't have as much responsibilities as them or you're more free, you're more independent. This could even be somebody that's in a horrible relationship and they're mad because you single and you just, you happy, you free. Like you ain't got a motherfucker tearing you down. You ain't got nobody, you know, talking down on you. You love yourself, you know? It's like because you are not accepting the bare minimum and you choosing to be single because you're not about to settle for bullshit. Somebody here that settled for bullshit is mad. Now they mad at you because you free and you live in life the way you want. You live life on your own terms. You ain't got to answer to no motherfucking body but the most high. You ain't got to answer to nobody but the creator. You know what I mean? And somebody here is mad at that. Yeah, they mad. This person is so sneaky. It's like somebody here want to tear down your happiness. Somebody here want to rain on your parade. Gemini, this energy is disgusting. This person's a fucking narc. Okay, it's giving narcissists. This person is such a liar. They're so sneaky. They're so deceptive. And this is the type of person, I feel like they wouldn't even do this shit to your face. For some of you, this person would never do this shit to your face. For some of you, they wouldn't. For others of you, you may be like, nah, this person show they ass every chance they get. Even, you know, to me, straight to my face, whatever. But for others of you, this is somebody that wouldn't even... They wouldn't even show their true hand. They wouldn't even show you how they really feel if they was facing you. It's like, <laughs> this person's such a fucking loser, yo. Whoever this is in y'all energy, they such a cunt. I mean, this person's a loser. I'm sorry. I just got to keep it a stack. I got to read the energy. This person's a loser. All right, they're a fucking loser. They don't have nothing else better to do but to talk down on you. This person's miserable. Instead of they just look at what's causing these ill feelings and like heal from it or separate from it like boom if this person is in a toxic relationship they need to work on that they need to either leave that person or see if they can work out things with that person if they want to stay and if they realize that they don't want to stay then they need to heal they need to leave that person why take it out on you because you're living on your own terms you're free you're not skipping at any beat at, at the beat of anyone's drum nobody else is dictating your life you're in charge of your own life like, somebody here is pissed because you're in charge of your own life. And you get to move freely. You know, the chariot. You know, you get to move freely. You're traveling. You're moving. Some of you could be traveling, going on road trips. You just taking life the way that you should. You taking life, like, as it comes. And you handling it so graciously. It's like you're riding the waves of life without a problem. It's like... You have your paddle. This person feels like they're riding the waves of life without a paddle, if that makes sense. Like somebody here feels like they're drowning while you're able to just sail to calmer waters. Like your paddle is strong. Somebody here could also be trying to manipulate your energy in some way. For some of you, this could even be another Gemini. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Leo, an Aries, a Taurus, a Scorpio. 
an Aquarius. Whoever these people are, they're just fucking mad because you're able to take charge of your life and, and move forward. Some of you could be moving as well. The Chariot to the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. Some of you could be moving, okay? Ten of Cups, but it's a beautiful home. It's a happy home. It's a peaceful home. It's like you sailed to Karma Waters. You moved into a peaceful environment or a peaceful home. Or you could be renovating and making your home feel like home, right? Like making it feel more comfortable. And somebody else is receiving karma and they got the nerve to be mad at you. Somebody here mad at you because you're able to create peace wherever you go. Or you're selling, you're moving to karma waters. Like literally, you could be relocating and somebody else is mad because they're getting karma. Somebody else is mad. And they talking down on you. They making it seem like you the problem, like you the fucking enemy. When really, this person has created the chaos that they're now living in. They've created the shit for themselves. This is somebody that literally put themselves in this shit. And they blame you. It's your fault, Gemini. It's your fucking fault that I'm in this. This person is not taking responsibility or accountability for anything that they're going through right now. This shit is crazy. Like, and this could be a hating ass family member for some of y'all. Or this could be like an ex-lover or some weird shit like that. Whoever it is, y'all know who it is. This person fucking mad. Somebody here is also mad because they can't play with your head anymore. Somebody here was playing a lot of mind games with y'all. Well, at least trying to. But Gemini, you an air sign. You're very intelligent. You're very smart. Air signs are very smart. I don't know why people play with us. I say that shit all the time. I don't know why people play with air signs. Gemini's, Libras, and Aquarius. Some of the most smartest people. Air signs are so smart, so cerebral, so intelligent. Especially if you are working from your higher power. If you are in a high vibration and you're an air sign. Yo, you can't be fucked with. You can't be fooled. You can't be swindled. You can't be dominated. No. I don't know why people be playing with air signs. Yeah, somebody's pissed off. Okay? The temperance in the reverse keep coming out. Somebody here mad. Somebody here talking shit. They don't like you. Oh, well, who cares? Gemini, when did you ever give a fuck? I feel like you don't give a fuck about who like you or who don't like you. Tell them to stand in line with the rest of the motherfuckers that's waiting for you to give a fuck. Promise you, you don't care. <laughs> Gemini, I know you don't care. I know you don't. Sorry, y'all. Let me get my tea. Mm -mm, I know you don't care. Let's move on to my cancers. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no cancer. Please and thank you. From now to the end of the month. Who and what is coming towards cancer from now to the end of the month? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Give me three more shuffles for cancer. Mm -mm. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no. What can cancer expect from now to the end of December? You have the King of Swords in the upright. Now the Wands, the Hangman reverse. Oh, Lord, we got the Empress in the reverse. Oh, child. Cancer, here you are at the bottom of the deck, the Chariot. Okay, so there could be an Empress in the reverse that's crying because you're moving forward. <laughs> Period. Cancer, you are showing up as the Chariot. Someone that's standing in your power. You are in the upright. Okay, your energy, your energy is valid. But there's an Empress in the reverse that's in your energy. Oh, excuse me. This could be a karmic, uh, distorted feminine. This could be um, a mom, okay? For some of you, this is a mother figure. For others of you, this could be like somebody that you was in a relationship with and you're separating from this person. This person is crying. They're sad. Five of Wands for the Empress in the reverse. <coughs> this person is crying, okay? Crying, sad, and heavy regret. The Empress in the reverse to the Five of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, you could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, somebody with that in your chart. But Cancer, you're happy. You're happy. The sun, the chariot, the sun, the hierophant. Cancer, you could also have strong Taurus in your chart. I feel like you making moves. I'm hearing that you went in in silence. Yeah, I was feeling that hermit energy. Some of you are going within, okay, Cancer? 
you could be going into your shell, going into your, your, your crab shell, you know, going into your shell, going into hermit mode. You could have Leo, Aquarius, Virgo, or Taurus placements in your chart specifically for some of you, but you're, um, you're reflecting, you're self-reflecting, okay? You could be isolating yourself during this time, but for good reasons. I also feel like this is creating more peace, more stability, more harmony, more happiness, more joy in your life, which is good. Um, somebody here feels like it's unfair for you to do this. It's an injustice for you to do this. You can't close the cycle out. You can't leave me. This is somebody that's very codependent on y'all. Whether this is a mom or somebody that y'all used to be in a relationship with. Somebody here is like losing their shit right now. Somebody here is losing their shit because you're transforming. You're healing. You're going through a rebirth. The death card here. Somebody here feels like they're losing their grip on you. Somebody here felt like they had a tight grip on you. But it's an injustice for this person to have their nails embedded in you like this. Like, this is somebody that feel like they have their nails in you, like their claws in you. Yeah, it's a Leo and Aquarius. Could be a Libra. Could be an Aries. Could be a Taurus. A Gemini. Whoever this person is, they're fucking mad because you're taking charge of your life. You're standing up for yourself. Some of you are going into union with a divine counterpart, an emperor, or this could be you turning into an emperor, okay? Whether I'm talking to a cancer male or not, you're turning into a boss, you're turning into a leader. Some of you could be entrepreneurs, or that's the road that you want to go in, that's the road you want to take. You want to work for yourself, you want to build a brand, okay? I'm hearing that a lot of you are on the road to success. You want to be a star. You want to be famous. I feel like I'm talking to a cancer that's either in the public eye already or that's the route that you're going. You're going to make it. Go after your fucking dreams, cancer. Take charge. Go after your dreams. Whatever it is that you want to do, go, go for it. If you need to relocate in order to make those dreams come true, then relocate. Don't make somebody feel bad because... You're setting out on a brand new journey to follow your heart, to follow your dreams. Like, let's just say you live in, like, Poughkeepsie. I'm just using this as an example. Let's say you live in Poughkeepsie or you live in, like, some small town or, I don't know. I'm here in Jacksonville. Some of you, I don't know where you're from, where you at. But let's just say you live in, wherever you live, whatever you want to do, you can't really do it there. It's like people that move to New York because their um their fashion designers and stuff like that that makes sense like if i live in um arkansas but i want to be a fashion designer you damn right i'm gonna move to new york you know so it's giving that energy like you may want to be like a superstar or a model or something you feel like oh maybe i should move to la yo go fucking move to la like go do it go do it go invest in yourself follow your dreams you, like, go make it. Go make it. You're going to make it. Your ancestors are, are cheering you on. Yeah, they're pulling you out of this misery. It's like you could have been connected to somebody that you can't really get too far with that person because their energy is hindering you. I'm telling you, some of y'all was stuck in a situation with someone. It's like they were hindering you. They were hindering your growth, your progress. This person's going to be crying. They're going to be brokenhearted that you're now moving forward and leaving them behind. That's how they're going to feel. That's how they're going to try to make you feel like, oh, you leaving me behind. Cancer, if you have Aries in your chart, you may want to watch Aries' message as well. Because <coughs> Aries had that same kind of energy. Like, somebody trying to make Aries feel bad. Like, oh, you're abandoning me. You're abandoning us. Like, get the fuck out of here, please. Everybody grown. FaceTime me if it's that deep. Okay, fucking FaceTime me, Google chat, Google me, Zoom, whatever the fuck it is. All right, do a video call. I'm out. <laughs> it's not that deep. I promise you, if this person or these people had opportunities to leave, they would leave you in a heartbeat. And they probably wouldn't even video chat you when they got there either. So please, don't fall for the bullshit. Don't fall for the crocodile tears. All right, let's move on to my... um. Leo's what's going on Leo sorry y'all let me get my tea Leo what's up baby 
Shout Shoutouts to all the Leos out there. Leo, I love you. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you have an amazing uh, holiday. Okay, if you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have an amazing Christmas, Leo. Uh, and I hope that you going into the new year, positive energy, positive vibes. I feel like you are nine of pentacles. I feel like you the shit, Leo. I feel like you manifesting. Okay, Leo, you out here manifesting. Some of y'all be working with candles and candle magic is what I'm hearing. Very nice, Leo. May all your dreams come true, baby. May all your wishes come true. May you continue to feel magical, inspired, motivated, uplifted, and creative. Some of you may draw, you may paint, you can be very creative. Your wish fulfillment is on its way, Leo, four of wands. Some of you could also be getting into a relationship if you're single. Others of you, you could be getting engaged. Your relationship could be going to the next level, okay? All right, that nine of pentacles came back out, but this time it's in a reverse. Uh, five of pentacles in a reverse. Leo, there's somebody that's codependent that wants to return. This person could be telling you that they love you. Mm -hmm. This person could be telling you that they love you. Queen of Cups. Leo, this could also be you and this Queen of Cups energy. Okay, I feel like you're very loving, very captivating, very motherly, very nurturing. Okay, Leo, some of you could have Cancer in your chart. You could have Scorpio or uh, Pisces in your chart as well. But even if you don't have strong water in your chart, <coughs> you're embodying that water energy, that love. Okay, like a lot of love is coming from you, Leo. You are full of love. It's like your smile brightens up the room. Look at you, Leo, nine of cups. Nine of cups, the magician, the judgment, and the four of wands. Leo, what you want, baby? Tell the universe what you want. Go ahead and do it. Make a wish. Do it now. Do it now, Leo. Whatever you want. I'm hearing your wishes will be fulfilled. Your wish is my command. Leo, literally the sun shines and sets for you, baby. Some of y'all got an ancestor that passed on. This person loved you so much. This person said that you were there. Wow, that's crazy. This person said that you have always been their favorite. And now that they have passed on, they have transcended. Um, they have transitioned. They saying that you're still their favorite. They say you are their favorite, Leo. You are their baby. Some of you could have had a mother figure that passed away or a grandma, a mother figure, a, a motherly energy. For some of you, this could have even, I'm hearing for some of y'all, it's not a mother figure or a grandma. It could even be as simple as like an older woman that you used to talk to. This could have even been like a neighbor uh, that passed away or like um, a co-worker that was, you know, more mature on the older side. This person could have passed away. You made such an impact on somebody's life while they were alive and you were always their favorite. Like, let's just say this is your old boss and they passed away or your old professor and they passed away. It's like this person still like looking after you. It's like you made such an impact on this person's life. Like you were their favorite. Like if this was your professor, you were their favorite student. If this was your mom, you were their favorite child. If this was your, um, I don't know. If this was your grandma, you were their favorite grandchild. If this was your boss, you were their favorite employee. Y'all get where I'm going with this. There's somebody here that has transitioned and this person is, they're in heaven. Excuse me. They're in heaven. Oh. And y'all gotta give me, y'all gotta give me a second, y'all. Leo, I'm so sorry. Y'all know, I told y'all, like, your girl is overcoming some shit. Mm. I'm clearing all of that mucus and shit out. But, um, and I don't edit, so I'm sorry, Leo, that you had to hear that. But back to the message. This person loves you so much. Like, you're still their favorite. They want to see you smile. They want to see you happy. Your smile makes them happy. 
this person has went to heaven. This is somebody that has transitioned successfully into heaven. If you are someone that believes in that, you believe in the afterlife, this person wants you to know that they are safe, they are comfortable, and they are watching over you, and they love you so much, and they want you to know that everything is going to be okay. If you're going through a hard time right now, everything's going to be okay. You're going to be happy. You deserve to be happy. They are the ones that's providing you with the strength to carry on in life right now. They are the ones that's giving you your strength. If you went through a situation where you felt like it was weakening your faith or actually weakening you physically in some way, they are the ones that's providing you with strength to carry on to see another day. This person wants the best for you. They've always wanted nothing but the best for you. This person cares about you so much. They love you so much. They would do anything, anything for you. And they still fighting for you. They will still do anything for you. Even though they're not physically here, this person is here in spirit. This person loves you so much. Leo, this person loves you so much. I am so emotional right now. I am so emotional right now. Somebody here is going to hear this message and they're going to cry. And it's okay. You can cry. <laughs> okay. Your mom, your grandma, your great grandma, whoever this is. It's a woman. She love you to death. She love you so much. Oh my God. She just wants you to be happy all the time. She never want to see you cry. When you cry, she cries from heaven. When you cry, when you hurt, she cries from heaven. She hurts. She feels that shit. Leo, the strength card. There you are, Leo, the lion. You so strong. You so courageous. You so bold. You're beautiful, Leo. This person said you're beautiful just the way you are. They said that you're stubborn. This person said that you're stubborn. You need to work on your stubbornness. This person has been trying to communicate with you. They're definitely using me right now to communicate to you. But this is somebody that's been trying to communicate to you. Leo, pay attention. Some of you could be having dreams and seeing different signs and stuff. You need to pay attention. Pay attention, okay? Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to your dreams. This person wants you to know that they are around you 24-7. This person has something in store for you that they've been holding on to you. Leo, you have a big blessing that's coming to you, a divine gift, a gift from the Most High, a gift from the Creator. Four of Pentacles here to the Six of Pentacles. Something here is being held on so that it could be, somebody is holding on to something so that they can give it to you them, themselves. But this is more of a spirit gift. This is not, it's going to manifest in the physical, but... I'm telling you, I'm getting spiritually. This is a gift from spirit. Some of you could be getting a car. You could be getting a new car. Congratulations. Some of you could be getting married. You could be getting into a relationship. Whatever it is that you've been wanting, Leo, you're getting that. And you're getting it times 10. Like, you're getting it tenfold. Like, whatever you've been wishing for, you're getting it times 10. Some of y'all, you just like, listen, I just want a car that work. You know what I'm saying? I just want a car as long as that shit got gas. As long as I can put gas in the tank. As long as the engine, like, you know, as long as the engine is running, like, I'm cool. Nope, you about to get your dream car. It's like happening like that. Like, you could be wishing for, like, the bare minimum. Like, some of y'all not even, like, wishing for, you know, the best. Like, the most luxurious thing. You're like, no, like, I just want... Something that could get me around, or I just want this. I don't need, you know. And, you know, Leo, you usually are somebody that want the glitz and glam. But I'm really getting this energy that you're somebody right now where that's not your main focus. Some of you could have outgrown that shit. 
Like, you could have been somebody that was really, like, all, like, material, name brand this, name brand that. Some of y'all could have even been flashy at one point. But now it's like you've calmed down. It's like, yo, I just want what's necessary. I just want the necessities. Like, But it's like you're still going to be rewarded with luxury with the absolute best. <laughs> like, for real, that's how, it, that's how it's going. Like, like yo, I just want a car that work. Boom. You're going to get that G-Wagon you always been wanting. You're going to get that, that biz that you always wanted. Like, it's going to be some shit like that. Like... Whatever your heart desires, Leo, is here. Leo, whatever your heart desires, what you want, baby. Two of Cups, for some of you, I'm telling you, love is on the brain. Some of y'all got love on the brain. You want a successful relationship. You want a marriage. You want to grow old with somebody. Baby, you're going to have that. You're going to have that. You deserve that. And this person that's in heaven watching over you, saying that you deserve that. You deserve that and then some. You deserve that and so much more. You deserve to celebrate. Three of Cups. Oh, Leo. Oh, I could just squeeze your cheeks and kiss you. This person is an Aquarius for some of you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Lord. This person could be an Aquarius for some of you that is using me right now to communicate to you. This person loves you so much. They're standing their ground. And they will take down any and everybody that's trying to come for you. They don't care who it is. Okay? Because we got a high priestess in the reverse. We have an emperor in the reverse. See, I didn't speak on any of this shit. I was giving it a fucking second. Because I wanted to really give you the powerful message that I was getting first. But now this person said I could speak on the rest that's out here. You understand me? There's somebody here that did you dirty. They did you foul with the justice in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Somebody here could be a Pisces, could be a Virgo. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be a Scorpio. There's a king of swords reverse, a queen of wands in a reverse, a fool reverse, a high priestess reverse, an emperor reverse. All these motherfuckers, whoever these people are, worked against you, Leo. There's a queen of wands in reverse. Could be a fellow fire sign. Could be another Leo like you, or Aries or a Sag. There's a fellow fire sign that could have gathered multiple people here to go up against you in some way. This person's going down. They're going down. Oh, this person going to be bored to their fucking knees if they haven't already. This person's going down. They under heavy judgment. They under heavy judgment. Nothing is going this person's way. And anybody that collaborated with this person will suffer as well. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 